Hey guys, Don here. Uh, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Today I want to talk about, uh, it. it's all about speed, okay? Um, and there's certain things you don't want to be speedy about, like surgery and things like that, but there's a lot of things in the office that if you can speed it up, it makes it a little bit easier. And so I, I figured out something new today. Um, so we use diagnostic ultrasound a lot in the office for injections, for evaluations, for plantar fasciitis, things like that. And it's always been a struggle for me typing on that, on that keyboard. And uh, uh, the guy that uh, sold it to us, he installed this some dictation thing that really didn't work. And it just uh, made it more of a struggle because it, it recorded when we didn't want it to and things like that. So we've added all the templates and that still kind of takes longer than I want. So what I did today is I started to not type anything. And so I have a natural way of doing my ultrasound. So I'll do first a, a longitudinal view and then I'll do a transverse view. And I usually do the right foot. If it's bilateral, I'll do the right and then left and then right and then left. And so, or whatever, if it's the left foot, I'll do, you know, the two views. And so what I found is doing it this way, I can finish it quick. I just save the, save the settings and then do my injection or whatever I want to do. And then what I do is I open up my computer browser and we use, I think it's a 2020 thing, and I can type in the, 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 the information about it, like, you know, um, plantar fascia, longitudinal view, proximal distal, things like that, and where the effusion is, putting little arrows, and that'll save it. And I can do that, I would say, and save myself multiple minutes uh, versus doing it on the actual ultrasound machine. So that's that's one thing that saves some time. Another thing that saved some time today is I had like multiple patients with plantar fasciitis and I still, I'm using this patient presentation that it's 10 minutes on the dot and, um, and it really helps me. So I go see them, have them walk, um, you know, look at their x-rays, make the diagnosis and I say, okay, I want you to watch this video and then I'll come back and talk to you. And so it's really all about all about speed. Another thing that speeds it up is doing these uh, patient education uh, genius things. I've talked about this multiple times. If you haven't considered it, you might want to, sending it patient education information. And then the last thing is doing my, my foot pain. Like It's like this. It's like a prescription pad that I have in my pocket, and it's, it's preset for what I typically see patients for. And I just check the boxes, and it kind of guides them what they're going to be doing. And mostly it's for musculoskeletal things. And it really helps kind of solidify what they have to do. Uh, whereas my colleagues, they have to like type everything else out and have the staff printed out. This little prescription pad uh, works pretty well. So I guess my question to you, what are things that are kind of slowing you down and, and what are some ways that you can uh, speed them up? So if you guys have any thoughts, please put it in the discussion section here and your, your thoughts, I'd love to hear it. Or send me an email at don at podiatry practice mastery. Uh, just kind of always trying to help and provide good content for you guys. Okay, uh, once again, join Podiatry Practice Mastery. Get all the, the free stuff there and uh, can learn more. Okay, bye.